Can y'all say good morning? Good morning. Good good morning. morning. Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. These kids are about getting ready to go to Bible school. And these kiddos are going to come back home with me. Hi. And this one's got some wild hair this morning. I didn't do nothing with it. I got the baby's dress, no shoes on or anything because we have to go. So I did not go to the gym this morning. And that is because I've got two babies with some pink eye. So, can't be bringing that to other people. Did you, did you do it, Stinky? Did you do it, Stinky? Mm. So, these two little babies got some pink eye. I called the doctor this morning and I'm hoping they'll just call them in something. I need to call the pharmacy and see if anything's been called in. Um, but, so, the little, uh, other little baby girl started symptoms two days ago and then last night we could really tell that that's what it was. And then it is what it is because this one right here woke up this morning with her eyes matted shut. So, I called the doctor this morning and I said, can you just call something in? Because I don't have to bring them up there. And they typically do not call in under two without seeing them. But she's going to see if the doctor will just call it in in that way. I don't have to bring them up there because we're pretty, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is what it is with both of them having it. And my other two are probably going to get it as well. Oh, why is this happening? But... Anyways, if one gets something, they all get it, right? That's right. If one gets it, they're all gonna get it. This is our second case of pink eye in the last two months. When we went to the zoo two months ago, I think two of the kids had pink eye then. So, second case of pink eye. And our family has never had pink eye before, except for two months ago. So, I know, you can't get on the table. You can't get on there. I finally did something with her hair. I am headed to pick up the baby's prescriptions. They called them in so I went, didn't have to go take them to the doctor, hallelujah. Which I really don't see the point because I mean I know what pink eye looks like. So I'm glad they called it in and didn't make me bring them over there because I did not, not want to bring them over there by myself especially. These two kids, let me tell you, these babies are a mess together. Like they are just, they're a, little, they're a mess together. But we, um, yeah, I'm gonna go pick up their prescription. I think it's so 24 hours. They're on the um, eye drops and then they're not contagious anymore. I think that's what it is. I think like if, um, as long as they're on it for 24 hours, you can continue with your daily, whether they go to daycare, whatever you do, which they're not doing that. But I'm hoping, hoping we can prevent the other two from getting it. And I'm hoping we can get, I'm going, going to get these right now. I'm, was going to wait till I go pick up um, Delaney and the other little boy up from Bible school, but I want to get these in there and start their eye drops. That way, um, we're still not sure when they're leaving, but if they were to leave today or tomorrow, just when, whichever day they're leaving, then um, if, they're, if they go to another family that has another kid, you know, I don't want it to spread. So, we're going to try to get these in their eyes. This is going to be hard. It is hard to get eye drops in little baby's eyes. It is like a two-person thing. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do it. It is really hard to do though. Last time I know the little girl had pink eye like two months ago. And I could. It was really hard. Like she. It definitely took both Ethan and I to get those eye drops in her eyes. And of course I come back with the prescriptions and both babies fell asleep. So I can't even give it to them right now. Get them a little nap out because they seem really tired this morning. Here we are. Wait a minute. Is it time to listen to the other whales? Said Papa. The little boy listened to the peaceful quiet that the morning sea. Daddy's reading book to the kids. We just got home from work just a few minutes ago. I've got some pork chops that's been marinating all day, so they should be super yummy. This marinade is that 30 minute marinade I used on them last time. Last time I only marinated them for like an hour. So they've been marinating for several hours. So I'm hoping they're going to be like extra flavorful. So I'm pretty excited about those. These kids love pork chops. I told Delaney earlier what we were having for supper. She's like, yes. Because she loves pork chops. We've got some potatoes ready to be roasted. I actually threw in some onions. Some onions sounded really good in potatoes. And I just put a bunch of seasonings like... Season and salt, which is my favorite, and I know it's not the best for you, but I love the flavor. Some garlic powder and some rosemary and some uh, olive oil spray. So I'm gonna roast these in the oven. What, bud? 
Did you go pee? Yeah. Good job. Good job. Let me have the diaper bag. Thank you. I'm gonna put that up. Let's put that on the table. We got some basketball playing. Are you playing soccer too with the basketball? Soccer? Are you playing basketball or you kicking it with your feet? You kicking it with your feet or are you gonna throw it in the basketball goal? All right. <laughs> we got a messy playroom. <laughs> what is it? Huh? Oh, what is it? Hi. 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 And there's Miss Rian over there just to do her own thing. Yeah. How's your yeah. pork chops? Pork chops good? Pork chops. Is your pork chops good? Yeah. That's pork chops, not chicken. Is it good? Yeah? You want you want more? Yeah. Yeah. How's yours, Ryan? Is your food good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we are outside playing for a little bit. Just got done with supper. The kids are on the trampoline. Today is our last day with them. Actually tomorrow, I guess. So they are leaving tomorrow, but um, yeah. They are just running around on the trampoline. Actually, the little miss is in there with Daddy. Daddy's in there cleaning up. She wasn't wanting to come out here. So, took these three out before they get baths and in the bed tonight. Am I daily vlogging? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like I would call myself a daily vlogger because I don't want to, like, put that commitment on myself, I guess. Or I don't want to commit to that. Maybe that's how I should say it. Um, but I've been vlogging a lot lately. And I hope you guys have been enjoying my vlogs. I've been really enjoying vlogging. And just kind of showing y'all our life. And our struggles. And all that. I feel like we don't necessarily always show our struggles. But um, we've been showing them lately. And it's been hard. And some of the feedback. And that's fine and it comes along with YouTube and anyways are we daily vlogging I don't know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna commit to that because if I don't put out a video like tomorrow or whenever one one day next week I'm not gonna I feel like daily vloggers you got you got to commit to it you got to put out a video every day if you're gonna say you're daily vlogging um, but there may be one or two times a week or every couple weeks that I may not depending on what we have going on so yeah do you guys think i should daily vlog do you think i should daily vlog have you been enjoying all these vlogs i put something on instagram the other day and it said what kind of videos do you like to see whether it's, whether it's vlogs or um other types of videos whether it be cleaning videos mommy videos all that but i feel like vlogs kind of give you just i just vlog different stuff i vlog myself cleaning sometimes i vlog about the kids mommy stuff and um all that kind of stuff so vlogs kind of give you like a little bit of everything I guess but let me know what you like I, I feel like with the vlogging though like if I put out a video mostly every day and maybe just a mix but mostly vlogging but just a mix of different videos and I see a UPS truck I'm trying to I don't think I ordered anything no I don't remember I don't remember ordering anything or did I I am working on getting some last-minute things done for the kids to leave tomorrow, making sure we've got everything in their bags. I need to go make sure laundry's done so that way whatever else we're sending with them. Um, but I've got most of their stuff in here and their bags are packed full. And so 
here's all of his stuff. I've got lots and lots of clothes and jammies and um, swim trunks and shoes in here and all kinds of stuff. I will probably send some of those with her. Maybe like one of the packs that are in there. And those are some of the clothes that we're keeping for him. So I think we've pretty much got everything for him ready and all that. So his bed, we will see if they need the bed tomorrow. But he'll definitely, that's just his favorite blankie ever. The first time he came, the first day he just took to that blanket right there. And he's just not wanted any other blanket. Like this is his blanket. So I will send that with him. So we are playing this game. I'm playing with Laney and Lil' Man. Roll and play your child's first game. Laney actually got this for Christmas last year. Don't throw them, bud. We have this very unorganized, but they're kind of playing how they want to play. It's a really cool game. I have this game linked below where you can get it on Amazon. But basically, you roll the dice. They pick. They can find whatever color their dice gets on. And then they have to do whatever the card says. So, I do need to update the description below. Like, um, everything I have in there. Because I hadn't updated in a while. But it is in the description. Alright, whose turn is it now? My turn. Okay, roll the dice. No, your turn. My turn? You gonna film me? Uh-huh. You gonna do it? Okay, uh -huh. ready? Look, right here. What color is that? Blue. Blue. All right, I'm going to pick this one. No, no, no. Here. You pick oh, another I one. I pick something besides blue. Okay, what about green? Yep. Squeak like a mouse. Squeak, 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 squeak. that do a good job? You can, no. Can you? I didn't. Can you squeak like a mouse? Your turn. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Don't do that. Do the cards. All right, your turn. No, I'll, I'll hold it. You do it. All right, roll it. I, Let's no, see what color. I, can I do it? Woo, throw it. Can not I really. do it? All right, what color is that? Purple. Purple. Well, purple's on there, but the top one is orange. 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 But the way Laney says we play it, we got to find something besides orange. So pick a color. Laney, get off the cards, baby. Uh, What's it say? Six. It says blow a kiss. Blow a kiss. Blow a kiss. Can you blow a kiss? Mwah. All right, guys. We've got all the kiddos in the bed. Actually, Ethan. It just went to his baseball game, so um, I feel like we don't go to. I forgot my spoon, but the spoon must not got clean in the dishwasher. I'm about to eat my ice cream. Um, I feel like it seems like we don't go to any of his baseball games, which we don't very often. However, um, that's mostly because they're like after 6:30. Like he has 6:30, 7:30, or 8:30 games. Um, but if they're like after 6:30, if they're not a 6:30 game, we normally don't go because the kids are ready for bed. But Tomorrow, I will be going to his baseball game. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I'm about to try a new kind of ice cream. Well, it's the same brand, but I have not tried the caramel. So, it looks good. That's what it looks like. So, we're going to try it and see if it even, like, tastes anything as good as the mint does. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.